and I crossed paths a few times over the years, but we never really connected until we connected at Room 5 through the Songwriters Round. 
I was just struck by his performances and uh, I had the privilege of sitting down with Michael for some at length conversations a couple times where we really got to know each other and um, he always shot me straight. Um, he always said things in a, uh, a way that wasn't as gentle, but it was like striking. Like he really wanted to say things that would help me grow as a person and as a musician. And I'm to this day very thankful for those conversations and for Michael. Um, he was very adamant that he thought I should record a gospel album. Maybe someday I will. Uh, but for today, I thought uh, I'd play a song uh, that we all know about grace. Grace is uh, one of the most powerful concepts or visions uh, to emerge in the history of religion. And it's the, this concept. Um, the Buddhist understanding of grace comes from the unconditional companion of Buddha and embraces without exception its unmerited favor. Uh, the Buddhist approach to the understanding of grace focuses on the processes of nature. Nature is seen as the great feminine embracing and nurturing all life. The process of the independence in all aspects of life reveals how interconnected and how interrelated we all are. Grace is seen in the outgoing fruitfulness of the world despite its threats. The mystery of grace will enable us to discover how we all can live together without destroying each other. It will replace hatred with love and it will do that when we see each person as an embodiment of grace, channeling from its source to impinge on our own lives. Michael Dolman was grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now I'm found Was blind But now I Grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. The hour I first believed Amazing grace Oh, how sweet, how sweet the sound The saved Oh, it saved a wretch like me was lost but now I found was blind but now I see I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see amazing grace.
Hey everybody, how y'all doing tonight? Uh, welcome to the Monday Monday uh, broadcast for Michael Doman. We're doing a virtual uh, celebration of Michael Doman's life and uh, his music. And um, we thought nothing better than getting the music community together for Michael. Um, he was a big part of uh, our Room 5 community and the Monday Monday music series that uh, I put together and started in 2013. And Michael had it a great deal to do with helping build those nights and turn them into what they have been uh, today. Although I say today and we're in a pandemic and nothing's happening, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, Michael had such a big part to do with that um, to the point, I mean, early on he even under, he was underwriting the Monday Mondays. He would come in and pay what we needed at the door, the extra amount that we needed at the door just to break kind of even on things so that we could keep them going without it being in jeopardy of uh, the owner wanting us to do something else. So he he understood how important those nights were and how important the community was. And and uh, he he would do things like that. And also just uh, he started bar tab so that every musician could have a drink because I was constantly fighting with the owner trying to get drink ticket comps for musicians for the Mondays. You know, it's just there was there's a lot of backstory and Michael had a lot to do with helping make things work so that I could keep doing them. And then when I was out of town, he he helped run them and just was such an important part of, of that whole uh, process and development of the, these nights that we all love. And, uh, you know, more than anything, he was just such a great friend to us and uh, and such an inspiring performer for so many of us. And I'd known Michael since about 2002. I met him at Kulak's Woodshed, and we used to do nights together and uh, yeah, had a residency and had Michael all the time and, and got to know him uh, back then and loved his music then and then just over the years just developed a really cool friendship with him, and as a lot of us have, I know. And um, he was just a special person that I connected with so much. And, um, and yeah, I, uh, I just want to uh, thank everybody for participating in this um this event so that we can celebrate his music and his life and um this whole thing has been kind of a bear to to figure out but i think we've got it and if this all goes well maybe we'll do some more monday mondays so uh, if that's the case then thanks michael doman for you know get putting putting the fire under my ass to make, figure this all out because i really wanted to do this so oh we got eden everly all right enjoy this Another beautiful song of Mike's playing in the background. My name is Eden Eberly, and the song you're about to hear is a song that has significance to Mike. And there's a story, it's a long story, and seeing Mike and on stage at the Whiskey A Go Go, a few weeks later, he shows up at my house. But that's the way it was back then. You bring friends, but I got to meet him. And he introduces me to Melissa and suggest that we get together and start singing. And we did. And the very first song we ever sung together was uh, Motorcycle Mama. So I hope you guys enjoy the song. <laughs>
Nashville and I'm uh, just really grateful to be invited to be a part of this <sighs> the first time I met Michael it was probably you know 15 years ago um, I'm from Kentucky and I always had a dream of going out to California and you know making music out there and I drove across the country and thought oh I'll just go to open mic nights you know and and start meeting people and and sharing songs and learning and growing and the first open mic night I ever went to um damn it I wish I could remember the name of the place it was a shithole <laughs> it was in Burbank and you know I was by myself and I was scared and the parking lot was dark and um Michael Doman was the first person I met and he was you know like nothing I'd ever experienced. Um, his music blew me away and he kind of took me in under his wing, you know. Um, he made me feel like I could do it. And uh, yeah, he was always an inspiration uh, for me. And I came back to LA several times and we got together and he invited me to play shows at, at Room 5 and uh, Kulak's, I think it was called. and. He even came to Kentucky. I was gigging a lot there and, and uh, gained a lot of new fans in Louisville playing some shows. Everybody fell in love with him. So I didn't even know he was sick. And um, thank you, Heather, for reaching out and letting me know about his passing. And, you know, I just, he was a magical guy. And I don't know where he is, but I, I feel him, you know, I felt him today as I've been um, making this song and, and video for him, and I just feel like he was a magical guy, and I don't think just because he's not here, he's not still working some kind of magic. <laughs> so um, what I mean by that is, is that I'm excited to learn about each of you and your music and and what you're doing and how you knew him and hopefully stay connected because maybe some of us are supposed to know each other through him through this so um thank you again for letting me be a part of it and please reach out and uh stay in touch or get in touch if you're in nashville and rest in peace, Brother Doman.
we fucking love you always so all right cheers oh um the song that i'm gonna play is called uh, grass and gravel all right See y'all, nice to be seen. Shalom, sir. What's the matter with the creature on my arm? She's sweet to me and she never did you harm. She's all eyes, arms, lips and legs. She's oversexed, undernourished, but very well fed. Nose is long, but it's straight on her face. Her mother prays she grows into it one of these days. I'm gonna love her till the day I die. Ever help you, motherfucker, if you make her cry. Cause if you love me, if you love me, if you really love me, you better love my. 
dog. Love my dog. She loves you. Hell, we all do. Now, what you mean, my friend's not your cup of tea? I know he's not pretty, but he's here with me. Come to your show, you will not let him pass. He's very thirsty, but you will not fill his glass. His mind is blurred, but his heart is pure. But you leave him standing on the wrong side of the door. I know you hear him knocking. He keeps on knocking, but you just won't let him in. Well, I'm gonna love him till the day I die. Heaven help you, motherfucker, if you make him crack. if you love me. If you love me If you really, really love me You better love my d -d dog Love my dog Woof. He loves you Oh, we all do Yeah, we love you
change of plans. Chris Loggins, everybody. Hey, hello, everybody. Uh, I met Michael uh, at Room 5 probably like in 2012. And uh, anyway, uh, we became friends. I remember we would uh, hang out. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, so this is one of his songs that I, one of my favorites by him. It's kind of weird. Let's hit it. Flavor. And while you sat there 
waiting on your sign I'll be a toll taker A solid gold stater You are what you are We got to be what we got to be But you don't need to be no superstar To get along with me Chris Loggins, everybody. Thank you, Chris. Hi, um, I'm Fiona Gray. I'm gonna sing a song called Los Angeles Angel. Um, uh, Michael was my best friend and a very important person in my life. And I'm gonna sing this song um, in his house. The last day before we have to get everything out because um, I feel like he's kind of all around right now um, so Michael if you're around this is for you hey there won't you stay That smile upon your face Like a warm L.A. breeze I'm sad to see you go But I'm glad that you are here L.A. is another angel Would you stop by for a coffee And tell me how you Play your latest song in the whisper of the wind. There's a footprint in my heart where you walked within. Wish that I'd have known to make it better. Fare thee well, troubadour. We 
everybody sorry about the technical difficulties but we're working it out uh, as best we can i got cliff beach uh is going to be joining us here let me uh check in with cliff here hey cliff can you hear me yeah but i can hear you all right great i don't know if i'm delaying or anything like that i know you can't see me but uh let's bring you on to the thing hey there's cliff beach everybody how you doing cliff i'm good how are you so happy to be here. Thank you, Joe. Um, Make sure you turn I, on, on your original sound. I You're cutting out a little bit, so. Okay, how about now? I'm going to sign off so you don't have the delay. Gotcha. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Cliff Beach. Super happy to be here. Stoked. Uh, Michael Doman was an amazing, amazing musician and friend. Super talented. I met him at the Room 5 in the mid-2000s uh, at Poet Ronnie Girls Acoustically Speaking, where I met so many great other performers and lifelong friends. And what I loved about him the most was that he was uniquely himself. And uh, he, you know, he was never trying to be anything that he wasn't. And I respect that as an artist and musician. This is a song that I would have done during that time. It's a cover of Sun House Death Leather Blues. <laughs> I got a letter this morning, how do you think it read? Mm, said the girl you love is dead. I got a letter this morning, how do you think it read? Mm -hmm. Said, hurry, hurry, the girl you love is dead. Took up my suitcase and I took off down the road. When I get there, she was laying on a cooling board. Now I took up my suitcase, took off down the road. Said when I get there, my baby, she was laying on a cooling board. Said there was ten thousand people. Standing around the bare ground I didn't know I love my baby Till they began to lay it down Ten thousand people Standing around the bare ground Said I didn't know I love my baby Till they began to lay it down mm -hmm. Yeah, said Grandma's hands used to clap in church on Sunday. Grandma's hands used to ache sometimes and swell. Grandma's hands, this is what she used to tell me. She said, Cliffy, baby, understand that you got to be a man. Put your faith in Jesus' hands. Grandma's hands said it's so hard to love. Someone that don't love you Said there ain't no satisfaction I don't care what you do 
It's so hard to love someone that don't love you. Yeah, I said there ain't no satisfaction. Oh, I said there ain't no satisfaction. Ooh, I said when I get to heaven, I look for a grandma's hand. Thank you so much, Michael, man. We love you. Thank you, Cliff. That was great, Thank man. You. Thanks so much for being here. All right, take care. You too. Hey, my name is Celeste Tosher. I perform under the name Talker, and I am super grateful to be playing tonight. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Fiona Gray's roommate. <laughs> so I got to know Michael over the last few years living with Fiona and um, helping her a bit in taking care of him as he was dealing with everything that he went through and um, it is a huge disappointment and sadness to me that I never got to hang out with him before all of this. Um, however, he it, it was amazing because he still, you know, he was still him throughout everything that he had to go through and um, despite all of the physical challenges and this just like incredibly difficult thing that he was dealing with, I got to know him and he still was, you know, fun and, and funny and kooky and generous and kind and, you know, um, I was able to feel like I really got to know him despite all of the things that he was dealing with and um, this song that I'm going to play tonight, um, I wrote it at the start of the pandemic, not, you know, about Michael or anybody in particular, but I wrote it about not letting go of your creativity and your passions and the things that make you you even as the world falls apart around you and that was my goal and um you know i feel grateful that i got to see that side of him so this song is called empty buildings <clears throat>
Thank you. Michael Dolman, brother, I loved you so much. You don't even know. You you were so special to all of us, the way that you touched our lives, and uh, and I'll never forget you, man. And I will see you on the other side. I'll see you in heaven one day. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God, his son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on that cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation, take me home. What joy shall fill my heart Then I shall bow In humble adoration And they proclaim My God, how great Thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to me How great Thou art how great thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art How great thou art <laughs> Take them down to Sutter's Mill, and they can grind them coarse or fine. But my heart will be for you still.
ever miss here It's your sweet face and your gentle kiss, dear Life is so short But mine has been so blessed With a love I shall take With me to the next one One Now the chains Oh, they may hold me And all their ropes my neck Cannot refuse can take my arms and break my legs they can crush my hopes they can have my head but my heart will stay with you my heart will remain Michael Dillman in 30 seconds or less. My memories of Michael are extremely fond. From when I first met him in the early 2000s at Room 5 for music night, he was always there, not just to play, but to listen to everyone else. And every time my name was called to play, he was there, listening, making me feel heard, valued, important, special. And that was the start of our friendship. My deepest memories in 2018, when he overheard me talking to an owner of a coffee shop that we frequented and hung out at often, and where I was asking if I could use one of their parking spaces to store a travel trailer I had recently purchased for my birth father upon our reunion. Michael stepped right in, more as a friend, less as a colleague, and was like, I know a place you can park it right in my parking spot up the street in my, my apartment. <laughs> Little did we know. Apartments don't allow that. But I don't think that really mattered. Michael didn't care. He cared about helping other people first. And that part of his personality really stands out for me and makes me want to be a better person. We miss you, Michael. You're one of a kind.
was a hard man Made a motor Brick and bone I had a hard heart Oh yeah A tightly wound package Of pitch and thorn Then I saw her There she was A leggy long stem Vision of light Pushing Through all Of my darkness Like a bulldozer Oh yeah She'll keep on Keeping on God weeping while you're still busy sleeping as you struggle to wipe the sleep from your eyes she'll run your race and take first prize she's a bulldozer oh yeah she'll keep on keeping on find an attractive person. It's fucked up. I think some girls attractive like cross the arm, but by the time I get there I just <laughs> there's just too many flaws. And I'm not that but I'm getting less and less picky. 
I'm lowering the bar, the standard, the everything to the point where a female is like my type at this point. Anyway, enough about me. All right, bye. Push the red button. <laughs> All right, work. Let's do it. This for you, Mike. Hey, what's up, RJ? We got an RJ Chesney, everybody. Uh, oh, you're not hearing me. All right, now All you're right, hearing me. Hey, cool. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna mute though because you're getting a delay. I'm sure. So, um, just want to introduce RJ Chesney. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate you doing this and uh, you know working through the the technical Zoom part. We're getting yeah, this absolutely. figured out. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, man. All right, take it away. Thank you. Uh, I wrote this song uh, right before I met Michael about a dozen years ago when I lost somebody very dear that I loved. And um, I met Michael around the same time that I met Heather Lomax. And um, we've had a great 12 years of friendship. And uh, I was just devastated at the news of his, his death. Um, he was always so kind to me. And he always blew me away with his performances. So... Um, this is going out to Heather, and uh, even though I haven't met him, I'd like to send this out to uh, Mark, Michael's uh, brother. It's called Rest Now. Rest now, your journey's over. Rest upon that peaceful shore. Rest now. 
your journey's over, your spirit free, suffer no more, do not wait for me sweet angel, do not burden those hard earned wings, you just fly into the light now, and release all earthbound pain, rest now, your journey's over, rest upon that peaceful shore, rest now, your journey's over, your spirit free, suffer no more. Where you die on Easter Sunday Under a cloudless sun-drenched sky You heard a call, your last breath taken There was no time to say goodbye Rest now, your journey's over Rest upon that peaceful shore. Rest now, your journey's over, your spirit free. Suffer no more, and do not mourn for me, sweet angel. All this path I walk alone, there'll come a day band starts playing and your angel voice will sing me home there'll come a day the band starts playing and your angel voice will sing me home Thank you very much for having me. Lovely performances tonight, everybody. Good night. Thank you, RJ. Uh, Michael Doman was somebody really special to me. I'm very lucky I got to know him. I know him as well, I guess, as anybody could. I'm sure people know him better than I do. Um, he was always just kind to me and a mystery to me, but just always intriguing and always just As far as I know, I'm just a lovely, amazing guy. Um, there was a night that he and I and uh, Kale Baxley and our friend Taylor Lewis hung out at my apartment in, in L.A. when I still lived there. And we were just trading songs and... Um, I played a few and it was mostly covers that I was playing. I didn't really even play any of my own. And he was like, where do you get these songs from, man? And he just, he I don't even think Michael played one that night. He just listened and just cared, you know, just, I um, He was a good dude. Oh, my friend, I see your face so clear. A little bit tired. A little warm through the years 
You sound nervous Seem alone And I hardly recognize Your voice on the telephone and In between I remember Just before we wound up Broken down Driving out to the edge of the highway Following that lonesome dead in the roadside south We're all in this thing together Walking a line between faith and fear And this life won't last forever When you cry, it tastes soft in your tears I always love this thing that Doman would do in the middle of a song. He would just look down at somebody and be like, You feel me? Much love. Love you guys. Take care. Be safe. Love you, Doman. Well, hey, everybody. My name is Aubrey, and first, I just want to say what an honor it is to be among such talent and company tonight. Joel has always curated such an amazing group of artists for these events, and it was always a pleasure to be able to ride along on Mike's coattails with the violin to the many Monday Mondays we played together over the years. As you know, Michael was a collector of people, talented people, unique people, kind, intelligent, misunderstood people, eccentric people, and to those who love him, they know he was all those things and more. Okay, so if I seem a bit overdressed for this live stream, it's because I wanted to wear this shirt in memory of Michael. He pulled it out of his closet and gave it to me many years ago, saying it was a shirt he used to perform in. Now, while that's very plausible, I have no photographic evidence to support those claims. And you know what, I'm probably gonna get a message after this going, Hey, I loaned that shirt to Michael years ago and he never gave it back and I never knew what happened to it. Ah, I hope that doesn't happen because this is now a possession I treasure um, now more than ever. So I've worn it on many a stage for many a show since then, but tonight seems like an unusually fitting occasion. As far as the song goes, all I can say is that Michael picked it. <laughs> After I received the news of his passing, a couple songs I hadn't heard in a really long time just showed up, and this was one of them. It wasn't a song I've ever been that fond of, but when it came in out of nowhere, I just had a feeling that it was his way of talking to me from wherever he is now. And the more I listened to it, the more I heard, like, Michael in those lines, and you could leave it to him to pick a song you don't even like to start looping in your head over and over. I'm sure he's getting a good laugh out of that. Um, also, as a disclaimer, I never saw him smoke weed, <laughs> and I never even saw him drink more than, like, two beers on any given night. Around me, he was Saint Mike, the soul of moderation, and he was many things to many people. No one's perfect, but he never stopped trying. He was always looking for ways to pay it forward and help the people he loved. So this is for Mike, my rock and roll Jesus, my big brother and my friend. This is The Pilgrim, Chapter 33, by Chris Christopherson. And Michael, this one's for you. See him wasted on the sidewalk in his jacket and his jeans wearing yesterday's misfortunes like a smile once he had a future full of money love and dreams 
which he spent like they was going out of style. And it keeps right on a changing for the better or the worse. And searching for a shrine he's never found. Never know. ending was also for you, Michael. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I once had a girl, yes I did. I once had a girl and I loved her true. I once had a girl, I should have kept her here. From a world that found out what I already knew. So now she belongs to the world. Now she belongs to everyone. Now she belongs to the world. But once upon a time, she only belonged to me. Just to me. Once had a girl by my side Now she travels far and wide I should have moved her up and out To the countryside I should have took her hand I should have made her my bride Cause now she belongs to the world Now she's in love with everyone Once upon a time, she was only in love with me, just me. You call her from the balconies and the floors. She gives you all she can, but you want more. Oh, you think you know her, but you don't. You think she'll let you in. But she won't Cause she only lets me in for free 
no one's gonna know her Not like me Not like me Now she's gone And I am haunted She left all she had But took all I wanted And when she called I could not talk And when I fell I was not caught And you don't need to put up A parking lot To prove to me That I lost Every good thing I ever got When I lost that girl 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 Cause now she belongs to the world Now she's in love with everyone Now she belongs to the world But once upon a time, she was only in love with me. Yes, once upon a time, she was only in love with me. I once had a girl, yes I did. Had a girl, I should have kept her here. Hey, Monday, Monday crew, and uh, everyone that loved Michael. Um, I'm happy that we're all coming together to celebrate him. He was one of the main fixtures all the way back to room five, and um, it's just not going to be the same without him. I always love that he never handed out any bullshit. <laughs> and whenever he had something nice to say to me, I really, really took that as a big compliment. Um, warmed my heart a, um, a lot. So um, this is for you, Michael. <laughs> We all have our stories From the gutters to the glory Build a fire and talk for hours Shaken by our voices Given by our choices What we claim, what we own, what's ours we take our turns and we lose, but we learn that tomorrow may be gone, so take it on, take knows not where to start have you lost your faith along the way just keep that boat a rowing it's a dream that's what you're towing are you merrily along your way we take our turn
What you gain and what you lose In the grave it's no use So shine a light of love in now We take our turns and we lose But we learn that tomorrow May be gone, so take it on Take it on What's up everyone in the stream i've been watching all you guys and it's really awesome to hear all these amazing stories of michael uh god rest his soul man what a what an amazing character uh every you know and all all every every single person i'm seeing uh i would see watching him just as closely as i would he was so crazy just everything that he would do on stage was just so intentional and just so direct and i remember after the first time I saw him, I knew that I would have to sit in the front row just just to feel his presence. I mean, you could feel his presence walking on the street outside of room five. Just, you know, you knew something was going on up there. You, you could feel lightning. And my favorite thing is he would just, he would just be playing and then just do this. Just to wake everyone up. They weren't, they weren't paying attention, which was rare. But man, what a, what a soul. And I, and, and I felt really kind of really cool that I was able to, to call him a friend. Uh, he even came over to my house along with Joel and a whole bunch of other cool Room 5 people and uh, played on one of my orchestra of peoples. It was really cool. Great bright morning. And, and uh, I'll, I'll post the video later, but you can see him just, just hanging out there, closing his eyes and just feeling the music. And I was just, I felt so lucky that someone like him, this, I felt like he's a bolt of lightning uh, that you couldn't trap in a jar. And you never wanted to, because then what is it, right? But he came over and he was he was nice, and um, he he would sometimes sit in the front row for my my songs too. And there's even a couple of videos where you can hear it, some clinking, and I think it's his ring clinking against the glass because he's just feeling it. And you know, you you hear his music, and you don't really expect someone of that caliber to just sit through all my kind of silly, stupid, happy music. So it was it was like an honor to just to know him, and. Uh, I I remember this one time. He always knows how to make an entrance. I remember, I think it was me and Joel were just talking like right before a show at room five. And Michael, that you, well, we didn't know it was Michael, but this car, this car comes screeching, does a U turn, uh, parks on a, uh, uh, <laughs> what did he park on? Uh, one of those uh, traffic cones, runs over it, parks on top of it, and gets out. And he's like, hey, did I miss the show? And it was it was magic it was magic and he were, we, we just started laughing and it was just good to see him I think he just left his car there and just ran up and just played a show too but what what a musical genius and um uh I there's there's a couple of songs and I've all out you know I always just had this 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 uh this vibe in my head just I would love to just have him play this this angel just come out for like one of my shows and just just push me out of the way just me playing like jazzy stuff and he just pushes me out of the way and just says i'll take it from here and just sings just the most heavenly stuff make people cry yeah but uh man but he he what what a force in nature um i'm gonna miss seeing him live and uh i, I would love to talk to him at some point but i know that he's here i, I don't know there's there's some weird vibes where I was typing, I was actually typing up these next lyrics. The song I'm about to sing is actually his song, one of my favorite songs by him, because it's just so, so eerie and so mystifying, so mystic, you know? And I was typing out 
um, I've got a, a, you know, a little bit bolder. For some reason, my autocorrect turned it to Michael. So I think that that's a sign that he's watching us and uh, still feel like he's here. And I'm very, very happy to have known him. And I'm happy to know him. And I'm glad that we're all together just, just uh, spreading his name around. And I'm happy that his family's here. Hi, family. And uh, all, all his family members, it's really cool to get to know from a distance and love to meet them in, in real life and just magic all around. But this song. So it's so cool. Look at like those chords. I'm, I'm sure that I, I studied this song. You can't find these lyrics online. So I had to, to transcribe them. And it's, it's just insane. It's insane. He, he's the perfect amount of just uh, beautiful, but also promiscuous. And this, I thought I love this song. It's just like a, a, little, a little sexual, a little sensual, a little punch you in the face, but a little bit of sing you to sleep. And so this is a uh, haunted guitar. Thanks a lot, Joel, for putting this together, man. I got a haunted guitar, it is responsible for so many things that I cannot explain. It gives me food when I'm weak, it gives me power to speak when I can barely spit out my name. It soothes this savage beast who never taught the virtue of peace. Yeah. I got a haunted guitar. It'll make you think I'm a star. I play a haunted guitar, but the truth is, it plays me. It plays me. It take me fast and far. It'll make you think I'm a star. The fact is, I'm a little bit bolder. It'll keep me whole and in control. When I feel like ripping your head off your shoulders, it'll bring me joy. It brings me peace. It gives me something I can't believe in. When we wake up from sleep, it got secrets so deep. I know I'm not worthy of receiving, yeah. I got a haunted guitar. It'll make you think I'm a star. I play a haunted guitar, but the truth is, it plays me. It plays me. place and put me to bed it was hot it was tight three days later i'm still not right she spoke of all the hope of ascension his eyes sucked the tit of a mother of a bench it was hot so tight so sweet so right all right all right All right, all right. 
She gave me a haunted guitar. It'll make you feel like I'm a star. She gave me a haunted guitar. And the truth is, it plays me. I play a haunted guitar. Mm -hmm. It'll make you think I'm a star. I play a haunted guitar. And the truth is, it plays me. But the truth is, it saved me. man i just got chills just got chills so uh thank you michael doman for everything that you've ever done it was a pleasure to know you i'm gonna brag about you i played that song on the youtubes my entire life so thank you so much and thanks joel for for everything wow what a, what an honor to uh i hope i get to meet the family and uh it's good to see all you guys play and joel you killed it so thank much you, love you guys all thanks, right take joel. care yeah later For Michael, I was so sad to hear about Michael's passing because um, he was really an amazing artist and person, and and one of the my favorite people I've seen perform, and um, and just such a nice and funny guy too. So um, anyway, I want to play the song for him, Asbury Park, because uh, he'd always ask me to play it when we played the same nights, and it reminded him of where he grew up. He told me so. I'm gonna play this him and yeah enjoy hey mr fitzpatrick how does it feel trapped behind those great big bars clasping cold steel asbury park this is you Carousel, Ferris wheel, and Asbury Park. This is you, Carousel, and Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Remember when you took your first ride? You never dreamed you'd end up inside, spinning round. The Ride. You never dreamed you'd end up inside these walls. To do your hands around your neck, squeeze oh so tight. Watch the draw her last breath, the little boy inside remembers. Asbury Park, this is you. Carousel, Ferris wheel. Asbury Park, this is you. Carousel and Ferris wheel. No mother or father to teach you right from wrong. Cry tonight, bear and sell your, you're still alone. Asbury Park, this is you. Carousel and Ferris wheel. Asbury Park, this is you. Carousel and Ferris wheel.
this for Michael. Michael is always so encouraging and, and kind and funny and super duper talented, amazingly talented. So anyway, um, rest in peace, Michael. And this is, I'm so glad you guys put this together. Now, but this is Sarah Hollins, and I'm gonna let her take over. Hey. Thanks for being here, Sarah. Of course. Hey, everyone. Um, I can't see any of you, so it's just like when I practice by myself in my bedroom. Um, oh, I feel like this year has been brutal on all of us, and we've lost a lot of people. And losing Michael towards the end of the year just kind of felt like the last like punch to the gut. Um, you can't really sum Michael up in any kind of sentence because he's just so. Uh, complex and cool, but my memories of him are definitely um, him kind of being like the steward into room five. And like when I started playing Monday Mondays in like 2013, which makes me feel so old. Um, <laughs> but I have a memory of when um, I was putting together Monday Monday and he helped me with it. And I remember him calling me and he's like, I already made the flyer and like, I got it. Like I'm helping, like, like I'm doing the thing. And I was like in target. I'm like, hold on. I'm in target. Like I'm getting my medicine or, or like my makeup or something. And he's like going over the lineup with me and just like, he just cared about it so much and cared about other artists and musicians and always paid attention to everyone performing, even if he'd heard your song a million times. <sighs> I even saw him in the Studio City Library once, Xeroxing stuff, and I thought about saying hi, but he was like so in his element. And I just, like, it was fun to watch someone that you only see in venues, just like be a person in everyday life. So um, yeah, this song has been a really important song to me half my life. I've played it at my grandmother's funeral at um, a friend's funeral in high school. So uh, it felt right for Michael too. So. This is uh, for Michael. <sighs> There's no one in town that I know. You gave us some place to go. I never said thank you for that. Thought I might get one more chance. And what would you think of now? So lucky, so strong, so proud. I never said thank you for that. No, never have a chance, may just leave you in. Hear me, my friend, on sleepless roads, the sleepless go, may just leave you in. What would you think of me now? So lucky, so strong, so proud. I never said, oh, I never said thank you for that. No, I never have a chance. May angels leave you in. me, my friend, on sleepless roads. The sleepless gold may just leave you there. If you were with me tonight, I'd sing to you just one more time. Oh, a song for hearts so big. God wouldn't let it live, may angels leave you Hear you, me, my friend, on sleepless roads, the sleepless skull, may angels leave you May angels leave you Hear you. Me, my friend, on sleepless roads, the sleepless go
hopefully you can hear me now. Uh, thanks to Sarah for that, and thanks to everybody that um, that joined us on the Zoom and everybody that sent in videos um, tonight. Um, I'm glad that we could do this. Um, it's very important to me, and I know it's important to all, all the people that um, were on here tonight. So um, thank you. Um, I want to make a mention of Fiona Gray, who, who uh, played a song earlier. She, um, she was very just you know, very helpful to Michael in the the last few years of, of his life and everything he was going through. Um, and she, play, she played a very big part in, in just helping him. And we can't thank her enough for all that she's done and the people that were helping her uh, with him. Um, it's, it, I mean, that's something that just just going above and beyond and to know that our friend in his time of need was taken care of by good people like that is uh, means a whole lot. And so shout out to them. And uh, one thing that we did, Fiona got to talk to Michael the most at the end. Um, and he talked about the things that he wanted um, for his memorial, which we did on Saturday. And there's a link on YouTube that um, if anybody wants to check that out, that missed it. Um, it was a really great uh, memorial service that we did a virtual memorial. And um, one, one of the things that he had asked to do, to do was he wanted to um have fiona sing this version of after the gold rush by neil young and uh shout out to neil young um and uh so he she, he had seen a video of her doing it before and, and he really liked it and he wanted the memorial to end with that and so she uh, talked to me about putting together a version of that for the memorial, and we did. And we got a whole bunch of different people that were in Mike's life to uh, to join in. Um, Frank, Fiona's father. Um, Celeste, Fiona's roommate. Uh, Aubrey Richmond and Heather Lomax. Jeff Siebens um, was, you know, got, he, he got injured, so he couldn't be as part of it as much as we wanted him to. But, uh, but uh, he was there in spirit. And... Um, uh, Jamie on drums. We had uh, um, Jimmy Ashers from uh, the Broken Homes from Mike's band played bass on it, um, and Craig Ross, uh, the guitar player from the uh, from the Broken Homes, played the guitar solo on there. Um, we had John Siegel playing harp on the solo. Uh, who else did we have? Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I want to make sure I'm not missing anybody. I mean, I played on it. Uh, <laughs> Who else? I'll 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 come back and let you know just in case because uh, I've got text messages reminding me of things. Um, anyways, I want to play this version of the vi the video basically of after the gold rush that we did, and you guys can see uh, and hear the song, and and then uh, we'll play some more Michael music, and then uh, I also want to uh, give a shout out to Mark Doman and uh, send everybody on this whole stream our condolences, and uh, you know with. One thing I can appreciate in this is uh, I can tell already that Mike has brought a bunch of us together and closer, and um, I hope we continue to to talk and, and check in and be in each other's lives in different ways, and especially to celebrate Michael and his music. Uh, it's something that's very important to me. I want to give a big shout out to Monica Lightstone, Lightstone sorry, Mushka. Um, she came to Room 5 about 2012 and was a documentarian and uh, loved the music scene. And it came in right at around a time when Michael and, and the Monday Mondays were really like getting going. And Michael was really in his prime. And she has footage, she shots, of so much music from the, those years from 2012 to about 2016 and beyond but uh mainly at room five in those times and so that's where a lot of this footage has come from and and uh her eye and and just you know the way that she captured these performances i i can't thank her enough for that because i think you guys all can agree that those performances really have captured Michael and, you know, especially somebody who was so stubborn about putting out his own music and, and a perfectionist in whatever ways and, and never really got it out there be, besides us seeing him live. Um, luckily we caught some magic and, uh, and I got a lot of footage that we've gone through. That's really exciting to have, um, uh, under the circumstances. And, you know, I, I, it, it feels good to be able to put his music out there and, and have it be heard um, in its best light. And I think that 
it does. So we're going to hear some more of that and, uh, and just carry it out. And thank you guys. Um, I will jump back in if, if I need to touch base on anything else, but I want to run this uh, video for after the gold rush and play some more Michael videos and then, uh, we'll sign off. All right, guys, enjoy this. This is after the gold rush. I saw the nights in armor come and saying something about a queen. There were peasants singing and drummers drumming. the full moon in my eyes I was hoping for a replacement when the sun burst through the skies there was a band playing in my head and I felt like getting high I was thinking about Closing evening for the, is this the closing evening, not a closing number of the evening, right, Joel? Yes, it is. Okay. And if it is the closing evening, that's okay too. Don't you think?
deeper and deep Deeper than deep And all the secrets you keep They're gonna bury you Deeper than deep Deeper than deep There's no way in or out No one can save you now this far and if there's time to learn how to pray for such things is there time to learn how to pray for such things is there time to learn how to pray But you, it's just you, it's just you. Michael Doman, everybody. Go ask your mother. Go ask your father. What has become of your younger brother? Is he out at the window with his face against the glass? Is he staring at a world that just stares right on back? And oh, it's a hard world. He was always such a sweet young thing. Look at all these angry young boys and girls. Black hair, white skin, and nose. Now, I was going to play one more song before we go. If you're still there and you want to check out one more, uh, give me a second and I'll get that up. And uh, yeah, I just felt like we're probably not done. I know I'm not done. I want to hear more. Uh, all right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, one more by Michael Doman. Oh. 
cold, cold sweat. Looking for my baby, she ain't home yet. Hollering in hell, she nowhere to be found. Lord, don't let her take that thing to town. Lord, don't let her take that thing to town. All this forgiven, please come on. All this forgiven, please come home. Please, please, child, try to be alone. Just come home. Get your ass on home. I'm wake up to the rumbling of a passing train. Shaking my shack down to its brain. Birds are singing, she know where to be found. to move that backbone slip should get a hold on you and she got me yeah she got me the girl love to dance and she'll tell you so she love to hear the sax blowing soft and low need to start scratching sitting in the groove that's the kind of record to really make a move why do I love that girl I love that girl All is forgiven Please come home All is forgiven Please come home Please, please, child I'm tired of being alone All is forgiven All will be forgiven All will be forgiven If you just come home Greetings party people and